have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479. 9808483340-9400 or 6359906 Jamano Money Transfer Bureau de Chance Your go-to option when it comes to money transfer With Jamano, you can send money from anywhere in the world to your family and loved ones in the Gambia and be sure the funds will be delivered to them within the shortest time possible for your convenience, funds sent through Jamano Money Transfer can be picked from all the banks and multiple other financial institutions, including Ajib Bank, Trust Bank, GT Bank, Mega Bank, Basic Bank, Reliance Financial Services, and Approved Services. Visit our head office at Bruce B. Opposite AfricMed, next to Trust Bank Limited, or email us at info at jamanomt.com. You can as well call us on 310-3050 or 310-3051 or yet still 733-0688. Our opening hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday and 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. Jamano Money Transfer, your most trusted money transfer service where customer satisfaction is paramount. When you think of a simple, fast, and reliable money transfer, think Jamano Money Transfer. Transfer <laughs> 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 Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, 
youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Brunch. I am Lamin Cham and this is our weekly uh, program that takes a look at uh, events of the past week and uh, bring you encounters with uh, Gambians both home and abroad who have impacted on the lives of the country or who comment on Gambian affairs. This week I'm pleased to be in the studio with uh, Fode Singate. Fode He's a Gambian diaspora who's been in the United States of America for the last 30 years or so. He's an entrepreneur and uh, he also sets up a foundation, an advocacy group, and uh, he is also interested in politics and the economy of the country. He had made numerous articles and made uh, uh, a lot of uh, commentaries on Gambian affairs. This week, or maybe in the coming weeks, he is in the country visiting family and uh, working on projects and, of course, following very closely developments in the country, both at the political uh, front and the social front. For the welcome to the brunch. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Maybe me. being your first time, I would like us to do an introduction. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, many people have heard of you. And uh, if you don't know, Fode happened to be the son of uh, the Gambia, the first governor general, the first African governor general ever, I think. Yes. Um, Safari Mangsing at it, governor general of the Gambia. Um, that was the last one uh, before we attained independence. It was all the colonialists, right. but uh, you know, in a very unique and rare uh, twist, a Gambian, Governor Safari Mangsing at it, was made governor. Um, Fode is one of his children. So that will start our introduction for the for the Singate. Where do you come from? Uh, I was born, my name is Fode Mubaraka Singhate. Mubaraka? Had yes. that been there long or that was your own current? No, that's uh, that's the name that Mubar was given at Fode Mubaraka. Fode Mubaraka. Mubarak uh, means Arabic. Yes. Big. Great. Yeah. yeah. But uh, my grandfather was named Fode Baraka. Oh, Fode Baraka. Fode Baraka. Drame. Drame. Um, but my dad um, named me for the Mubaraka. I see. Uh, Singate. So it comes Baraka, from the same thing, yes. yes. So Baraka, Baraka is, means. Yeah. Baraka is the, is the name of my grandfather, but okay. my one, when I was born, my father gave me the name for the Mubaraka. Okay. Uh, Where were you born? Uh, I was born at the State House. Uh, uh, first uh, Gambian to be born in the State House in 1968, oh, yeah. January 4th. Yes. Oh, yeah. In 1968, right. yeah. that was when your dad was governor. That's when my dad was a governor. I see. Uh, yeah. right. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. So how do you remember him? I mean, he was somebody who played a key role in the political life of the Gambia. Right. You must have been very young, but how do you remember him? Um, I would say after the, his tenure mm -hmm. in government is when I remember him. When was he was in government, you were two, was, either not born When we left, I was two years old. Um, I see. When he passed away, I was nine, if I could remember. Which year did he pass in history? Uh, 1977. Oh, 77? May 17, oh, 1977. You were, how, you were nine then? I was uh, nine years old then. Okay. Um, yeah, you, 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 can, you, you, you must have childhood memories of him. Yeah, the, my memories of him is um, after his um, governorship. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he went back to his practice. He has two practices. What was he? Uh, he has a pharmacy. And oh, a clinic. Okay. Um, one in um, Soma. Yara Soma. Yara Soma. Okay. And one in Farafenye. Ah. So before his um, appointment mm -hmm. uh, as a governor, he had 
the pharmacy, pharmacy. in Farafenye. Ah. So when he had when he was appointed, mm -hmm. so he has to. Oh, so he abandoned that. He abandoned and, and went to. But uh, after the governor general. After the governor, he went back to back to work to practice. his practice. And um, where did he come from originally? Uh, Janjambure. Oh, he's from Georgetown. He's from Georgetown. Oh, is he, he Georgetown? Georgetown? Yes, he's Georgetownian. Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. so the Singatas. Can you remember any of the Singatas he might be related to still now? Uh, uh, in Janjambure? Yeah. Well, yes, there's 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 few prominent names that are still alive. Uh, right now. Um, I cannot remember anybody out there right now. I'm <laughs> basically alive, the, yeah. yeah, who's alive. Yeah, um, yeah. Most you know, of the singers are basically all related. Well, yes, so there's some in Badibu. What so, about Kalilu Singat, who uh, who is still living uh, uh, and he's he's from Badibu, I guess. He's from Badibu. Um, I, I feel like we're related. Yeah, all yeah, the singers yes. are, are the same family. I'm so I'm and, so that um, must be why you're that set up a pharmacy in Farafani. Yeah, there must there be, be kinship, not just business. Yeah. But there must be kinship. There must be there is there is kinship. Yeah. yeah. Um and Kaliru is one of the folks that I would visit this year. Okay. Uh, he's he's we, an old we, man now. He's an old man now, so I'll have to make sure that uh, uh I meet him and sit down with him. He has a lot of history to be able to yes. uh, educate yes. me on because he knows the history of many things I don't uh, know absolutely. about. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you were too young at the time when your dad was governor general, of yes. course. Uh, mm -hmm. But after you you could remember he went back to his practice of, yeah. um, mm -hmm. in the he was a health entrepreneur. Right. Okay. Um, how did he got in contact with the colonialist or some politics? You know, before we made governor, to be made governor general. How, so before before he went, we read in history a little bit, right. of it, but I want you to bring us the <laughs> from from my was, recollection or from the stories that I heard since I was very young mm. that um, he was a chief pharmacist mm. at the Royal Victoria Hospital. <gasps> So um, even though he was from John um <laughs> he was basically raised by uh, British colonists in, in at that time in Georgetown. So his education, everything went through uh, the British governorship. Mm. Um, then he moved to Banjul, and he was working at the Royal Victoria Hospital. Okay. From from the bottom all the way to the chief pharmacist dispenser. Mm. Um, so. Within that time, yes. they they formed a group mm -hmm. where to make sure the folks that were coming from the provinces okay. were basically attended to. Attended, because they, they, uh, there was a time, I can remember in history, they said, mm -hmm. if you were to come from the provinces, uh, you're marginalized in Banjul, or yep. you, you have to be adopted by some Banjulian or change your name here. The rights were very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I know uh, that... It, the stories, the story abound of people who might even, who have, even change their surnames. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you know, I have known a couple of folks that change their surnames yeah. when I was growing up. But I didn't think much of it. Yeah. Now that I'm... Now you, now you know why your dad and others had to come together. They had to come together. Um, the working condition was, was very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so they have to come together to make sure that, and he was one of the folks that anybody that comes from the provinces, mm -hmm. his his um, home is always open. You put them up. And he put them up um, from I think Gloucester. Uh, that's where he started from, uh, where he started renting more rooms mm -hmm. for people that were coming from the provinces to have places to stay. Mm -hmm. To forty eight Grand Street, that we still is under our, our control. Where okay. you know. He have a lot of apartments that um, people were staying there. Mm -hmm. uh, I could mention names uh, that started their life. Yes. When they go to, you know, folks like uh, Inspector Tambojang. Oh, yes, uh, Janko Tambojang. You know, he was raised there. Mm -hmm. uh, many, many others that I want to say their names, mm -hmm. but went through that, uh, through yes. him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that was the time in Banjo. Mm -hmm. uh, they stick together. And that's how. PPP came about. Came about. We will, we will, we will come yeah. to that. Mm -hmm. So you went to school in Banjul, I guess. Yeah, Saint Augustine's High School. Okay, you are um, you are a Saint alumni. You're yeah, part of the right. Started okay. with Marina High School, Marina mm -hmm. Marina School. Marina International. Um, and then when we moved to to Combo, mm -hmm. um, the, the travel was too too, too challenging to mm -hmm. go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So I, I uh, ended up at Saint Teresa's. Saint Teresa's in, in at Westfield. In, in Westfield. Yeah. Uh, from there, I went to Saint Augustine's High School. Uh, graduate of nineteen eighty-seven. Oh, you were eighty-seven back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see you are still very active in the sense alumni. Just oh yes. Take us a little bit of how Saint Augustine was then and now. Oh, I mean, it, for me, it was one of my best experience. Mm -hmm. uh, I was losing mm -hmm. losing your father at a young age. Mm -hmm. uh, Saint Augustine's was like a second home for me. 
uh, Father Goff, yes, yes, who we care about daily, was very instrumental in a lot of us young boys' mm -hmm. lives. Um, yeah. And then you have uh, Coach Savoli. Oh, yeah. That I, I basically call as a mentor because I play basketball. He's still alive. Like, He's still alive. Yeah. Um, he's married to one of my cousins. Uh, yeah. Our the lawyer. The lawyer. Yeah. Our his family. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, St. Augustine's was just amazing. Everybody wants to come to St. Augustine's. <laughs> but there was <laughs> Gambia High School. Where, uh, Gambia is. You each know. of them claimed to be better in either, either in the books or in, no. in, in, the, sport, in, <laughs> in the sports. <laughs> Oh, you don't give me a start on Gamay High School. <laughs> I know the folks out there, some of my friends are from Gamay High, they're like, okay, this is war. But um, the yeah, Senate was just way above all the schools. Muslim High was another one that was very challenging, new threat. Um, so it was very competitive. Um, but overall, education, um, the camaraderie, we're still friends. I mean, we have a, uh, we just set up our forum from the class of 1982. Okay. That all of us are still um, around. Oh, uh, part of that. Yeah, so I'm part of that. That was so, covered, that was fact, co wide coverage. Oh, yeah. Five years. Was it? Yeah, yeah. From 82 is, to 87. Yeah, 82. Uh, could you believe it? That, that would be a lot of, a lot of people. A lot of and members. we all, on, members. We, yeah, we, we, uh, we, we give thanks to the folks that put that together. So mm. to know that everybody is still around mm. uh, the excitement of, who are your name. most well-known classmates? Uh, uh, Ibrahim Okamara is ambassador. Uh, oh yeah, he was he was secretary he, general. Secretary general, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's uh, ambassador in uh, in France. Russia, no? or France? I think France. France in, in, in uh, Europe. Yeah. Nyai, uh, it's uh, it's ambassador in Nigeria. Oh, is he how comes in Nigeria? Yeah, yes. so yeah. Papa's okay, a classmate. Um, uh, there's uh, Selady Jawara, who is uh, son to Basil. Uh, okay, all right. Um, there's many, many, um, plenty, uh, plenty um, yeah. that um, they are still around. They have been uh, back at Sonko, is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. a classmate. He's in Germany, electrical engineer. Okay, that has been doing a lot of work um, oh. in his in his town uh, with the solar project that we've been doing. All right. So there's a lot of uh, our batchmates that I'm very proud of that are doing a lot of many things. That, that, okay. uh, yeah. So you traveled to the United States or did you do some work here before going? No, uh, I graduated. Straight away. Yeah, 87, 88, I oh, left. You left? Uh, yeah, so I went to... For the first time, which state? Uh, Virginia. Um, okay. I went to school there, Virginia Western. Mm -hmm. um, after two years um, of Virginia Western, I transferred to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah, so I spent two years in... Um, uh, Virginia, Blacksburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. but I was going to school in Virginia Western after two years. Okay. Um, uh, then I transferred to um, Blacksburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm mean, sorry, uh, Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina. So, North Carolina. yeah, so that's why I stayed there for until 1999. Okay. Um, and that's when I moved to Texas. So, since 1999, you've been in Texas? Yes, 1999. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. That's quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, I spent most of my. Uh, time mm. in and Texas than it well, was. For those who went to America, they always said they were in pursuit of the American dream. What, yeah. what was your American dream? Four years and come back. Four years? Yeah. That's, that was that my... That was your plan. Four years and come back. Four years come back. And you ended uh, up doing 30 years. 36 years. 36 years. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, so the, uh, the change of government happened. Oh. It changed everything. Oh, you um, mean 94? 94. 94. Okay. So I did come in ninety. You had done six years or so before. Yeah. The, before. But well, uh, so eighty-eight is when I went to America. Mm -hmm. Ninety-two, I came back for holidays. Oh, for holidays. Yeah. So I came back ninety-two. Yes. Um, ninety-three, even ninety-four, I came back. Oh. Okay. Even after after the coup, I came back. Came back. It was challenging when I came back because there was a lot of question why. I'm why? Back. But that's another story. Okay. Um, so you want to say that. Uh, Primarily, you continued, you decided to stay put, yeah. mainly because of the change of government. Change of government, yeah. I was advised that, you know, there's nothing here for you. So, might as well. So, and then I started having family. Mm -hmm. And uh, that changes everything. A lot of folks, and I think there might be the reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to speak for them, but when you start having kids. Yeah, that's what I'm um, And you don't have anything here to fall back on to raise those kids. They mm -hmm. become very challenging. Mm -hmm. to just uproot your whole family and come back to Gambia without having a plan for them to be able to survive and stuff like that. So you tend to be able to say, well, I'll stay where I'll be able to take care of them. 
And uh, when I started having kids, mm -hmm. then I just decided then, but my whole dream is you got, just, you got stuck. I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Good. So, but then you, 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 when it comes to, um, profession, mm -hmm. what did you pursue after all the schools? Um, what got, when, uh, so, which areas do you? Right. So when okay. I went to Charlotte, mm -hmm. um, so I started working for a company called British Petroleum. Oh, BP? Uh, yeah, BP. Oil. The same BP? The same BP, <laughs> but uh, gas station, right? Oh, gas so station, okay. um, I was a, a manager mm -hmm. there for yeah. five years. Okay. Uh, and then when I got married, mm -hmm. um, my wife is from Texas. Oh. So we, we relocated to Texas. Yeah, I see. Um, that's when I changed uh, careers. Yeah. I went into um, tech. Yeah. which is Texas Instruments. Instruments. Yeah, so I worked for Texas Instruments for five years as okay. a quality uh, supervisor. Okay. Uh, and then then after that that time, um, I switched to medical. Medical. Then. Your, yeah. father's, your father's profession. Right. So, so that, that we will come to the later part of your father's profession. <laughs> right. I don't know if it's... So you went to your father's profession. Yeah, so I went to the, the profession. It wasn't by... It wasn't with intent. I know my mom wants me to be a doctor. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's her dream. Mm. But... It happened to be um, when my company was moved mm -hmm. to Malaysia. Oh, that was the reason why I left. My company was moved to Malaysia. Oh, so yeah. now I have to decide what do I have what to do. do go, yes. And then the opportunity came up to work in the tech, uh, to yeah, the med device medical industry. Yeah. So um, until COVID, for okay. 17 years I've worked there for them. Until the COVID. Until left. COVID, that's when I left. I said, now maybe it's time to start looking back home. Oh, yeah. and, and you gradually started coming. So 2011 is when I really start um, coming back with the NGO. Okay, uh, yes, that foundation. Yeah, the foundation with my dad and uh, my mom making sure that um, their legacy continues. Continued. Um, so my mind starts coming back thinking. So there's this uh, Fariman Singhati Foundation. Right. Mainly what do you do apart from health, uh, I mean, uh, assisting? We do health, mm -hmm. we do schools, exactly. um, um, kids, uh, we sponsor kids in school. Yeah. Um, anything that people come to us about to support any uh, good venture in this country, yeah. we'll do it. it. It's no one particular thing. Yeah. Now, health is very important. Ah. Uh, we are mainly focused on that with the hospitals, mm -hmm. bringing stuff to the hospitals, but school is very important also. We want to make sure the schools have all the the care, all the equipment, all the materials. Because when I was in St. Augustine's, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to brag, mm -hmm. but I mean, I remember when each classroom has a, a loudspeaker connected all the way to Father Gov's office. So anybody that he needs, he could call you. Oh, really? This was in the 80s. In the and 80s. It was, it was, this, was, this, was, this was something that we had there. You just click on the radio. Click on the radio and say, especially the kids that are always troublesome. Mm. So when they call you to the office, then you know you're in trouble. You know you're in serious <laughs> trouble. <laughs> exactly. So, mm. uh, you know, so those are the things that I saw, and I would like to brag that, hey, this was in the PPP era. Yeah, so, yeah. Why, you know, why, why not talk now? about it? Good, right? good. So we'd like to do... So how is the foundation now? How is it faring? It's very well. Um, we we did a lot of solar street lights mm -hmm. across the country, of, of over 5,000 solar street lights okay. in various towns, villages. Um, we, we were the first foundation that delights the majority of the cities are used in the villages mm -hmm. we we research it mm -hmm. we were the first one to bring it in january mm -hmm. and now i see everybody's using it across the country <laughs> yeah everybody wants the same color light. Everybody. it used to be the floor, floor lights now i see everybody's using the same um lights okay um uh, so it's, it's doing very well um uh, we will continue working hard to make sure that it, it will make an impact on people's lives all right so Let's now talk about uh, your father's, well, accidental, perhaps you would say, mm -hmm. short mm -hmm. um, uh, adventure in politics, mm -hmm. if you like. Um, one would have thought that since your father had gone up to that level, that was basically where, where we would have said our head of state, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so to speak. Mm -hmm. None of his children, particularly you, mm -hmm. had taken particular interest in politics. Was that by choice or... Or like you said, if there had not been a coup d'etat, mm -hmm. perhaps you would have ventured into politics much earlier. Yeah, but I, talking to family members, uh, one of my sisters told me my dad was not keen. Oh, he was not keen, keen on politics. Uh, yes, at the, at the latter part, because uh, politics is very 
um, is very challenging mm -hmm. and is a very interesting profession. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. you mean he was contented with being a statesman for that association? Yeah, he was contented and maybe the direction of the country was not what he foresee. Mm -hmm. I'm just speculating from okay. the conversations that I have with uh, family members. Yeah. Um, I know there were some um, issues or disagreements at the end of the day before Be he left. Between him and the, and the subsequent uh, right. well, politicians, who, politicians who and the direction that the country wants to take, yeah. right? Then um, that must be the Jawaras and the Divas, the Jawa, PPP, Divas, folks PPP um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure mm -hmm. uh, what was the, because it's been so long. So ago. long, yeah. Um, there's a lot but, of... But you, you, you had a feeling or, uh, uh, or some story that probably they had disagreements. At the, uh, from, probably, yeah. which happens all the time. I'm yeah. seeing it happening right now, we see it unfolding. Mm. Uh, right now, uh, but but didn't they see him as, uh, let's say, maybe too much close to the colonialists who have put the him, the who have put him there in the first place? The because even though his job, people might be proud of him being Gambian, mm -hmm. but the Governor General actually was was the least people desired at the time. People were struggling for immediate independence. That's uh, I mean that's a, a good take on it. I okay. mean he was reporting. Mm -hmm. To the, to the governor, to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the people to the, in London. Yeah, to the monarchy. To so monarchy. Um, that could be. That so, so do you think the, 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 the politicians who came agitating for independence, mm -hmm. uh, even though they were not as aggressive here as elsewhere in on the continent, but they might see, okay, look, Mister Mister Singhata is very close to the colonialists for our comfort. So mm -hmm. let's 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 uh, isolate him, or perhaps something. There like might that. be there might be uh, something that to. Uh, think about mm -hmm. now as we are going back and see what was the what was happening behind closed doors. Uh, but you learned from family was. that he was not too keen on well politics. political full, right. full so politics. Yeah. As far as he was concerned, mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. um, the yeah, go ahead. Uh, he wouldn't want to see. He any, wouldn't want to see any of his kids go into politics. Go into politics. I see. That's I see. what I heard from my one of my sisters. Oh, okay. that's why none, no, no, none of you none of ventured into politics. Ventured into, and plus, uh, it was many of many of the many brothers of, or the sisters. Okay. I mean, it was um, it was five brothers. Um, okay. They were much older. They all passed on now. May their souls rest in peace. Okay. Um, I'm the remaining son left now. But um, that was something that I heard. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, would. You and you now had <laughs> one left now to either continue that mantle or change the whole course and go into full blown politics. Recently, you were caught in the press to have talked about how important is mm -hmm. the generation, mm -hmm. the modern generation, the younger generation, especially those connected with the founders of the PVP, right. to see the need to come together mm -hmm. and revive the party. Right. Is that an announcement uh, of, of, of a full-blown uh, political life you intend to live now? Well, so let me, politics, mm -hmm. even in your home, there's politics, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So politics are daily lives, mm -hmm. right? If you want better things in life for our kids, uh, for the future generations. Um, I'm a Gambian first before I'm American, yes. right? Even though I'm an American citizen, yeah. I'm a Gambian. Mm -hmm. I was born here. Oh, My yeah. kids are American, but... Uh, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. they're Gambian also, so Absolutely. they're Gambian Americans. Yeah. So I look at my kids as I'm getting older, that I need to be able to step up mm -hmm. and make sure that they know who they are, where they're from. Like they say, Maninka, Imali Bukhari Dami, Bukhari Bukhari Dami. So I have to make sure that those kids and other kids understand where they came from. Mm -hmm. Identity is very important. Now, if I have, at my age now, what what is there that I have I haven't done in the, in this world? Wow, well, yes, you 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 can't <laughs> find a journey now. Right, I've been blessed enough to be able to travel the world. I've been blessed enough to be able to go to everywhere I want to go to. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time now um, to be able to give back, mm -hmm. and if that means going through the political mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. um, that's what I will do. But I am not saying I'm going to, I'm coming to lead the, uh, the PPP party. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is I'm coming to help the PPP party with their leadership, with their executive members, mm -hmm. to make sure that the founding fathers of this country mm -hmm. are not forgotten. They have done so much to give us independence, regardless of where my father stand and where the other political leaders stand in terms of independence. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't matter anymore yeah. because he didn't make big fuss about it when he left. Mm -hmm. He went back to his practice and took care of his people that he wants to take care of that he's been doing for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And you didn't hear anything about it. Now you might hear things, oh, well, there was a push and pull, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's part of life. Yeah. Even in your own home, there's Absolutely. a push and pull. Absolutely. Between your, you and your kids, between yeah. you and your wife, yeah. or, or wife, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, um, but I am very content where I'm right now to make sure that um, I give all my support mm -hmm. uh, to this party mm -hmm. that give us independence, mm -hmm. that at one point of time, even Senegal, mm -hmm would come to us for aid. As big as Senegal is, Gambia yeah. was that well uh, run mm -hmm. and managed yeah. through the leadership of South Africa and his team. Yeah, good. So yeah. that is where the challenge now is. Um, yeah. The PPP, like you have observed or have commented, uh, needs to be revitalized. Right. Because people are worried that um, if it is left like it is, mm -hmm. it might die, it may die. Mm -hmm. Some of the people connected with the party are either too old, mm -hmm. dead, mm -hmm. or split into two camps. Right. Now, how do you think, should, what should you think should be the approach now to get it together now on a sound footing to get everybody on board? For example, you know about uh, the row that uh, happened between uh, Bakari Dabo, mm -hmm. former vice president, and the late um, OJ. OJ. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of but then that brought about Mm -hmm. um, people would say Bakari Dabo and others going to form uh, a party they call Gambia uh, Action. Mm -hmm. uh, Gambia and all, how should, what, what do you call it? Ga Gambia, uh, Gambia for all. Gambia for all, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is where one might say your job uh, will start, trying to bring them together. Because right. without that, you you have your job difficult. How do you go to approach So uh, I cannot speak in that. So we have a, a party leader mm -hmm. who's Geba Jalo. Yeah, the interim party leader. So that's his job. Yes, right? he, he mentioned here in this program <laughs> right. exactly some of the things that they had doing, trying right. to bring get, those. He, bring said, those. he said consultations. Yeah. Uh, Bibi Dawo is, is our uncle. Mm -hmm. um, I know him very well. Mm -hmm. um, one of my in law is his uh, best friend. Okay. Um, so I know Bibi. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I know him. Mm -hmm. um, and I've met him a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. But I think we have a, a very strong executive team. Okay. Yeah. Them, them, some of them are here yeah. on the ground. Yes. And some of them are in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. So that's why me coming from the diaspora, I've already I've got there okay mm -hmm. to be able to talk. But I'm not going to go beyond... What Keba and others have already talked about. Right. We have our meetings. We have our executive meetings. Mm -hmm. We have it by, by monthly. Okay. And we, we, we know that it's an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. So all you talk about PPP is dead, mm -hmm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. But we are not dead. We know we are not dead. We know we have, since we uh, sent that article out, mm -hmm. and Keba also was on, uh, I forgot the name of the show. Uh, yeah, Gambia, it was one uh, of the shows. Uh, yeah, uh, Pasama Jao and uh, uh, Musa that, that should be uh, um, for, the Gambia, nation, for, Gambia, the Gambia, yeah. for the nation. For the nation. <laughs> they, they will get mad at me for, for, yeah, that's, for that's the name, called. but I know who that's, the, that's the players are. Yeah. Yeah, that is for the people. Yeah, yes. For the people. So, um, and we, we, we are not giving up. Uh, our press conference that we have for yeah. Sadaro Centennial, Centennial yeah, you talked about mean, it. It was, uh, it was a full house. Right, uh, all those folks came out, they were excited. Mm -hmm. uh, they know that, you know, I could come in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not worried. I, I, every time I'm here, I go all the way through provinces. Mm -hmm. Uh, we would work. I would I would listen to our executive members, mm -hmm. what they want. Mm -hmm. And if I could be able to deliver, I would deliver that. Mm -hmm. I would make sure that it happens because I'm, through the foundation, I've done a lot of traveling across the country. Mm -hmm. But I'm not using the foundation as a way of bringing people on the, on the political party. Mm -hmm. But I've seen people, I've met people. So we will be able to talk to those folks and let talk to them about what was good about this party. Mm -hmm. What have we done? We've seen the the institutions that was Jaw through Jawara is still being that's what's been still being used. Yes, generally most of them are still in existence. Most of them. What is what is new right now? Even the uh, Gambia College. Yes, that's what they pick it back on. Yeah, to go to the university. university. MDI. Yes. What what yeah, what, what created what, by it, PPP? It, uh, GTTI. Yeah, now been transformed to university was set up by Jawara. So, yeah. so one of some of the most successful. 
SOEs, mm -hmm. state state and uh, enterprises, state owned mm -hmm. enterprises, are were created under the, under the PPP. PPP. So we 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 get bashed a lot about many things, mm -hmm. but what I'm seeing right now mm -hmm. is ten times fold of what happened in that era. Mm -hmm. We had limited resources mm -hmm. when we came into power. Mm -hmm. And we, crunch, we were crunching numbers to make sure things happen. Jahri Pacha, all mm -hmm. these other things mm -hmm. happened on the yeah. PPP, mm -hmm. on the Jawara, on his team, and his cabinet. Mm -hmm. So they worked very hard. Yeah. There's no such thing as perfect. Yes, that's true. Mistakes happen, mm -hmm. and we move forward. I, we, in my industry, we call it lesson learned. Yeah. Anytime we may have a project, mm -hmm. we say, okay, let's talk about the project. Mm -hmm. What are the good things that we did? And what are the bad things that happened? I see. Let's make sure the bad things that happened that is not repeated, repeated again. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not sitting here saying that we were perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that we learn our lessons on many things that happened. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm seeing going back and forth mm -hmm. is so bad. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. you know? We will come to that. Now, um, still on the PPP before we go generally, um, you know the... The, the, the fundamental uh, issue that reviving the party may mm -hmm. face is that most of the people now, like you said, yeah. have either forgotten or the people who were born with, from Yame mm -hmm. this time to now mm -hmm. knew very little about 1994 the, babies. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> how are you going to get, like you said, one of your targets would be to get the people to know the true history of the PPP right. and not to be left with the distorted version that Yame wanted them to believe. Good question. That's where we come in. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of PPP babies out there mm -hmm. that have information. Uh, like I was telling you before we came on air, have the skill sets, mm -hmm. doctors, engineers, civil engineers, they are there. Mm -hmm. They're all over the world that are ready to come to work. And they have, they understand how systems work. And then we have the capability, not financially on my part, but some of those folks have the financial stability mm -hmm. to be able to come in and put that money behind of what the message is supposed to be because politics is very expensive mm -hmm. so we need folks that are out there that believe in what we believe in or so what the good times were to come back home that was my message when that article was yes. uh, sent out yeah. to, to the public he's mm -hmm. saying come back home we know you have the skill set we know you have the capability to be able to make an impact. Mm -hmm. Majority of those folks are my age group, their mid fifties, going to sixties to retirement. Yeah. yeah. And they come home every year. With yeah. their kids. Yeah. I know for a fact. You see it in December is a, a full you know, house here. It's a full house here. Yeah. You cannot move around. Mm -hmm. These are all diaspora Gambians. They were born in the sixties, seventies, eighties. They bring their kids home all the time. So why don't you come and join us? You don't have to be in the forefront mm -hmm. You know, say if you don't want to be publicly known, yeah. But you could be supporting us, and we'll get a message from the executive team that have. I'm still learning many things. Yeah. I talk to my team. Yeah. They call me. They give me information that I don't know anything about because mm -hmm. they've been active in this party for over 30 years. Yeah. I haven't been. All I know is like my heart is in the PPP. Mm -hmm. But now they have loaded me with so much information that I have to sit and decipher it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it. Yeah. And when I understand it, I'll be going out in, uh, to the people and talk about it and mm -hmm. say, this is the reason why we need you on board and make government lives easier. I know the thing is, most supporters of the party have moved on also. Mm -hmm. In the advent of the coup d'etat, yeah. mm -hmm. the PVP was banned right. and their assets frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, the party was made, it, to, 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 even to be linked with the party was a taboo yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, most people have moved on. Yeah. To new political parties like NRP, mm -hmm. UDP, mm -hmm. those people have now become entities who doesn't want to go away. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna convince those people to come back? PPPO? Because most of them will now see, say, okay, you know, time passed, you people are people of the past, we move on. We 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 will continue our message. Uh, our message is not to go out there and yell at people and uh, <laughs> back and forth. We're not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, I yeah. know I've been very active yeah. on the social media, yeah. talking about stuff that I saw. But as far as 
I'm concerned and what the executive members of this party is concerned that our message is going to be very clear. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be going out there going after any single particular person mm-hmm. unless it's warranted in terms of we have the evidence to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, we also will tell people what our plans are. Mm-hmm. The executive members will sit down as we do every two weeks of the month mm-hmm. and put a plan together and say this is why you need to come back home. This is what we're going to be doing for you. Here's what we have mm-hmm. compared to what they have. What What is their plans? Mm-hmm. Instead of every time you go to a, a, a campaign strip, mm-hmm. you're going after each other. Mm-hmm. We're not going to do that. We're going to talk about our plan. Yes. And we're going to stick to that plan. Mm-hmm. Eventually, the people will understand why am I have to listen to somebody that just all they do is going back and forth with each other. What are you going to do for me? How are you going to cut my price of rice, oil, gas, um, novic rates, <laughs> uh, schools. Yeah. Why do kids have to walk miles to go to school? When I go to Gunju coming back, <laughs> all I see is kids walking miles to go home. Mm. Why do we even have to go to school in the evening? Mm-hmm. Why? Well, that's, that's, that's it's a, a country of 1.82 million people. Mm-hmm. America is 300 million people. You don't see any kids going to school in the evening. Mm-hmm. Why here? See. So these are the things that we will talk about. These yeah. are the things that I would bring to the team and said, it blows my mind to see young girls walking miles going home mm. in the evening. Mm-hmm. That's wrong. They should be home in the evening, mm-hmm. finishing their homework mm-hmm. and helping their mom or dad or whatever it is they're doing. That's what we, that's what we did in the PPPL. I see. At 2.30, mm-hmm. you're home. Yeah. But then, of course, they can argue that you did not build that much school in the, in the PVP era. People were traveling not even kilometers, but a whole distance to go to right. school. Right, but think about the money we have on, in our budget. What was our budget at that time? Let's talk about the budget at that time. I'm not sure what the budget was, but I know we don't have the money. Quite insignificant. When, 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 when the colonists left, did they left us with anything? To manage, mm. I, I I still have recordings of 1989 budget speech. Okay, <laughs> they took Sir Shisa was talking about was it 88 millions? No, yeah. no, mm-hmm. but now we talk about billions. Yeah, so yeah. we 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 I know they will say, oh, you know, you have to come from, uh, and I understand it was tough, but we have to think about what we have, and physical conservative is very important at that time to make sure that we don't, you know, that's why our foreign currency was very strong. I remember the dollar was like two dollars, fifty, <laughs> right? Yeah, because the, the, the money, pound, the pound stayed at five dollars, so much so that people still call the five dollars a pound. Pound, <laughs> name a pound. It was so stable. <laughs> <laughs> it was so stable, right? So, yeah. um, you know, these are the things that you know. I think we need to go back and revisit. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, you know, should we invest in more and put more schools, you know, across the country, high schools or whatever. Mm-hmm. Maybe yes, but do we have the funding at that time to do it? But at that time, also family was very close. Mm-hmm. If you if you hit the the mark, mm-hmm. you know there were houses were open for people to come home, come, come and stay and go yeah. to schools. Exactly. Majority of these senior folks in government now mm-hmm. came to Banjo to yeah. go to school. That's good, right? Good. If you have been following, that means you've been following the political development. Now we all knew, of course, what happened between ninety four to. 27. Right. It has been uh, total calamity in terms of uh, liberties, in terms of uh, economic pillaging of the country's economy, etc. Mm-hmm. But when we elected a new government in mm-hmm. 2017 and now, there was hope that, okay, we, we may not perhaps go back to the PPP era. Well, in terms of liberties, we can recover, gain, regain our liberties, mm-hmm. so to speak. But we hope to advance more economically and stuff like that. In your critical analysis mm-hmm. of the uh, progress so far from 90, uh, 2017 to now in terms of uh, liberties, economic advancement mm-hmm. and stuff like that, right. how would you say we have fared as a nation? Um, not well. Mm. Uh, the hope that we had... Um, it just has evaporated the majority of the folks, especially in the diaspora. And here on the ground, we see the cost of living is, has skyrocketed. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things that I said, mm-hmm. and I wrote it, I have to go back and look it up. Mm-hmm. I said, 
we need to start fresh. <laughs> when you, in my field, when you take over um, a department, yeah. or a CEO comes in, he comes with his own people. The CEO comes with his own people. Yes. Now, but the, lower, the lower ranking. That's what Barrow did. He came with his own people, isn't it? Yeah, but you don't come in with the folks that were the problem. Oh, he came along with the folks with who the are problem. The, who are by Barrow now, right now? But he started with the, with the, with the Davos and this. Yeah, but the first hire was who? When, the, when, when they took over government, you tell me, <laughs> who, what was the first hire? When they took over, when was it not when the, the coalition took over, was he not vice president? No, uh, it was the ambassador. Ambassador to South Africa, oh, from APRC. Oh, you, you're not talking about ambassadors from APRC and the speaker. The, he the was APRC. the speaker, right? Wasn't he the speaker? Yeah, yeah. And then he was shipped out. He would have was the first hire, right? You think there's anything wrong with the hiring? I I APRC? I told you was wrong. Uh, it might be. Well, he, might have, be he might be. He might be a good speaker also from the FPC. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying how everything so started you, went you, down you, here. You are saying that you come with your fresh team, but you don't come along with people who 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 are part of the problem. When you take over, mm -hmm. from what I learned, mm -hmm. and this might be different from Gambia. Mm -hmm. and my mindset is when you take over mm -hmm. a process, yeah, you have to identify what was the problem of the process and who were the problem. Who were part of the problem? They might not be part. They might not be the the, the main problem, to, actually. Right. But they were part of the system. Mm -hmm. So you, if you want to change the way forward, you have to come in. You have technocrats. You have skilled folks across the country. Reach out to those folks. Bring them in with fresh mind, fresh overview. They were looking on the outside. I'm not saying high diaspora. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is there was many people that were here that could have come in and help us move forward. But the, the old the party of old where you say, oh, you know, they were here, they will help me get more votes. That's our problem. Mm -hmm. We're bringing in people because of votes, not because of the skill set that is required and needed. That's 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 the point I made. Mm -hmm. I don't know that the, the speaker, I don't know him. Mm -hmm. He might be a very good guy. Yeah. Um, I don't want to uh, disparage his name or whatever. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, mm -hmm. if I was the one coming in. Yeah. Anybody that was in that government, in the cabinet level or in the hierarchy, mm -hmm. you would not be in a team. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's where the first mistake, mistake from my was, point of view, yeah. happened. Oh, and I said it, and I said, why? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you got many other people out there. Why did you get somebody from there? I, that's what I noticed. Mm -hmm. And I started talking. I have not started talking about it. I said, well, let's watch. And now everything just so now you cannot blame Barrow for bringing other folks in because hmm. it already started. And it's now started, they bring yes. the whole team. They were there hmm. during Jamie's time. Yes, are there right now? They're like number two, number three to the presidency. Hmm. 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 God forbid anything happened to him, which we don't want anything to happen to him. Hmm. Who are next in line? Third, fourth. Hmm. Well, yes, I can see your point. <laughs> So that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, so you I'm, think that's where the first error happened? Happened, in my point of view. And then you you feel in it. And in that circumstance, you didn't expect much to change. I I I made it clear that it's not gonna go well. Um, I was born in a political family. Not just my dad, but many uncles and cousins were in, the, in government, and I've seen it as a young man. I've heard conversations. Talk about issues. I'm a little boy, but I've heard, I've seen. Then I went to America, <laughs> and I've seen the political field there. Mm -hmm. You tell me right now, when Bush came in, mm -hmm. or Trump came in, did Trump bring all of uh, uh, Obama's people? Uh, of course, no, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's the point I was making, right? I see, yes. I'm not making it because I don't like the guy. Yeah, I, I got I'm making the point because when Trump came in, mm -hmm. anybody that's associated with, with Obama, whether it's good or bad, yeah. he said no. No, because he wants to have he wants to have a fresh team naturally. exactly mm -hmm. when when clinton came in when obama came in he yeah. got his own people now every once in a while they'll go into the other party yeah and get somebody from there because you know the skill set is very yeah, important they'll yeah. get that person yes, but you don't do it right on day one you say no i'm gonna go after aps guy and bring them in mm -hmm. that's that's what i'm saying so well we had the 2021 elections mm -hmm. which we you know which we we we, we, we thought perhaps well, well, most people's argument was, okay, the previous one was a transition where the people were from different backgrounds, there mm -hmm. was a push and pull. 
corner. Then there was the NPP as a political party. Now they form an entirely their own government. Mm -hmm. Do you have any reason to believe that uh, um, things still have not gone have, have not gone uh, the right way, or you still see, or it have have got worse in terms of what you are saying, bringing the people with the problem? You mean after 2021, after yeah. his second? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, listen, Baro has done a lot in terms of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, since I've been here last year, May, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of improvements in terms of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. But if the people are not improved, mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the purpose of infrastructure? You know what I'm saying? We see we see is Senegal, in terms of infrastructure, there's no country in West Africa that has done much in terms of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. But why did the people say we don't want you anymore? Mm -hmm. What was the reason why? So, I mean, I get a point because most politicians, even now you hear people saying, whoa, they, they want us to judge mm -hmm. or assess the entire eight years of borough mm -hmm. by just looking at the roads that were built from, yeah. from, from grants or taxpayers' money. Must that be the yardstick for us to get the performance of a no, government that has been around for eight years? It, it should go infrastructure mm -hmm. and human or citizen upliftment should go together. Mm -hmm. You point. cannot have one, not the other. You cannot say, okay, I'm just going to focus on the human side of it. And then, you know, when you drive down the road, you, your axles are broken off because the roads are so bad. Was that not the problem with the PPP, who you support, which party you support? PPP again. They attended a lot to the social matters. Nobody got. Nobody went to bed hungry on that. Hardly anybody went hungry uh, on the Jawara's time. Right. Uh, I mean, basic commodities were cheap because mm -hmm. because of the tariffs, uh, the, you know, at the export and import tariffs, stuff like that. But there was an acute lack of good infrastructure. Right. Again, I know you again you will blame so, the budget again. No, no, I'm not going to blame the budget. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I, I'm, I have a different, but different, that, but that different a take on this one. Yeah. Um, I would say that was, that was like I said, mm -hmm. you, or, you call it lesson learned. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why when this government came in, mm -hmm. we said, listen, there's mistakes. That's why. And I've wrote it somewhere. I said, you have to go back into history. Mm -hmm. You know, Baro mm -hmm. or his, his team needs to go back and see what happened. In, all the way to Jawara's time, what were the mistakes that has been done? Let's make sure that we don't make those mistakes. Yes, the mistakes were done in that time. And I'm not even going to talk about the budget. Well, yes, they could have circumvented the budget and see what they could do, right, to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So when you come in now, and you know this previous um, government made this kind of mistakes, why would you want to do the same kind of mistakes? You learn from other people's mistakes. So that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, they'll give us a, you know, a free pass. No. Yes, a lot of mistakes happens in that time. A lot of mistakes happen in Jamis time. Oh, yeah. Jamis. You know what I'm saying? A lot of mistakes are happening right now in Baro's time. Because mm -hmm. whatever advice they give in Baro is, hey, just build the roads. You know what I'm saying? People will love you. Everything looks fancy. When people fly in, they see the roads is good. You know, people are, you know, I live in, in the neighborhood. I live in Sukhada. Yeah, of course. So I, I, I'm not speaking for all Sukhothaians, mm -hmm. but I've seen where I live, where the challenges are mm -hmm. in terms of the daily lives. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you cannot just have one and not the other. Not the other. Maybe that happened in PPP where we have where everybody's welfare, mm -hmm. they don't worry about the roads. Yeah. That's now, in the 21st century, <laughs> you cannot go back to the... You cannot go back. <laughs> yeah. Right? No, I, that's I that's your, what I'm saying. I get your point. Uh, yeah. So the next two years, we'll face another election. Mm -hmm. Already people, analysts and researchers have said it's, it's one that's bound to be very contentious mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there is this uh, elephant in the room as to where the barrow will go for a third term in this case mm -hmm. well uh, although there, there, there are two school of thoughts on that because they believe his first time is not is not shouldn't be counted yep. well others say no if once you've been there for for two occasions you have served second time so those are contentious issues that's coming up i I wonder what are your perspectives around that. Well, what does the constitution say? Well, the one that was rejected mm -hmm. says that any human being who serves twice, mm -hmm. whether you whether before the constitution or after the constitution came to power, uh, came to force, once you term, once you serve two terms, you are not eligible for it. Right. But, but that, that, but that constitution has not come. Right? It's, we have we have the nineteen ninety seven constitution which. 
for all intents and purposes, you, the president can run until he drops dead. Yeah. So that's the fault of the uh, the members that didn't approve where is a two-term limit. So what we need to do now is um, I would rather see Barrow bow out and let other people come in and run the country. He has done much. Uh, the infrastructure is good. It's looking good. Even though there's a lot of areas that I could point out that you know the job is not done properly. Um, but I think it's time. Um, when they brought him in, mm -hmm. he said he's a businessman, mm -hmm. that he's not a, uh, a political guy, mm -hmm. um, he's going to do his three years and gone. Mm -hmm. Well, things change because you got pe when you have people behind you that don't want to leave, yeah. they'll convince you to stay. Yeah. I think that's what happened in my point. But mm -hmm. I cannot, you know, as PPP, mm -hmm. yes, he needs to bow out and leave. But I cannot, we cannot say you cannot run because the Constitution states that he, you know, he has the right to run. What we need to do now mm -hmm. as political parties is make sure that we put on the table what the people will see mm -hmm. that is going to change their lives. We cannot just cry and whine about him staying. We have to go out there and work hard. Mm -hmm. That's one of the problems that I'm not blaming all governments, mm -hmm. but one of the problems is we just have to, you know, talk and don't want to go and fight. So, so instead of... Uh focusing on no he shouldn't run who shouldn't run you see you think the opposition should work on giving the alternative to the people yes who can stop him anyway yeah get put somebody out there mm. put somebody out there that is very strong somebody out there that has a mission um also a plan to change people's life put that person up there and give that person support and they will win but that's, that, is, that's, that's, that has eluded the, the, all of opposition people in the last uh, trying to trying to wrest power from the incumbent is always a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. Until we come came together in 2016 uh, against uh, Jambe, it yeah. was when it started working. Yeah. You it, it you have, you have. foresee a coalition against Barrow if it if it tries to run? Do? Well, I don't I don't believe in coalition. You don't believe in coalition? At least in, no. In this case, no. At least. It galvanized the people to come together against the incumbency. Yeah. That's what happened we, we, in We dropped the ball with the last coalition. Really? We, we, yeah, because of power hungry. We didn't, we didn't think about the people. You know, we didn't think about the people. The coalition members failed the Gambian citizens. That's why we are this problem right now. I've told uh, some family members and some friends that, you know, another coalition, I said, not not me i you know if the executive members want to do that then we'll have a discussion but i don't believe in the coalition i think people need to go out there and work hard but coalition people proponents of the coalition believe that it helps unite the opposition votes mm -hmm. at least if there's any merit in it it helps unite the opposition votes. So when, you have a, when you have a, an incumbent mm -hmm. And you have a position that are split. Mm -hmm. The opposition may have a majority of the votes, but okay. in our system, uh, it is simple majority. Okay. So you may have a lot of opposition votes, but they're not going to go into one box, whereas the incumbent has one box. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the incumbent is elected um, with the least number of votes. So that to avoid that, mm -hmm. that's that's why proponents of. Uh, uh, coalition feel that well, it is necessary. So well, who, us, who are these coalition proponents? Well, is it UDP? in, in the is past, it? in the past, it was everybody, but mm -hmm. now it is not. It, no, as far as I know, what I'm reading from the UDP is they want to go their own. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, UDP feel like they're very strong and powerful. Mm -hmm. Why would they want to go on a coalition if they feel like they could beat Barrow? PPP yeah, but, 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 is but, very confident. But they have tried that against uh, Jammeh. It didn't work. When when they tried with orders against Jammeh in 2016, mm -hmm. it worked when Barrow was elected. Right. So shouldn't they learn a lesson from that? They should. But I don't, I don't want to speak for UDP, mm -hmm. right? I want to speak for PPP. As far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I but, you, but, but what do you feel, in fact, in the first place? Your, <laughs> your Christian relationship... With Bar, you've been very critical with some. some He's Barrow's my race. friend. I always call him my best friend. But your party is in coalition <laughs> with him. Yes, 
we so, we, so we program that's where we should start how how do you, <laughs> how do you so, bring that equation <laughs> so borrow so our party was true to the memorandum of understanding hmm. to the end hmm. i had to give oj credit for that he hmm. did not he stayed the course until otherwise until we were betrayed and disappointed of what the what happened to hmm. us hmm. which is fine you learn from your mistakes you, who disappointed you? Well, you know, I, I don't think that we were taken seriously. How, uh, Ke- I don't think Keba Jaro, took us, Keba, yeah. Keba Jaro said that. Yeah, we were not taken seriously because they, they looked at us as, ah, that party is no, you know, and I, I'm telling them right now. One of the issues say, your party leader raised was the NPP wouldn't allow them to contest in areas, in many areas. They said, no, 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 you're going to leave this place for, for us. And they didn't want to stay without contesting anyway. Yeah, but if you're a coalition, I mean, I don't blame NPP for saying that. If you are part of the coalition, they could, they could, they could dictate what way they want you to contest or not, right? But they, 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 PPP was part of the coalition with NPP. Mm, but now, but, who, now, is Bano going to tell us now not to? Is NPP is going to tell PPP now not to run? Well, they said in Banjul, they said um, PPP wanted right to now? run in Banjul for the mayor in Banjul. Last. When was this? This was the last uh, parliamentary well, 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 So they told us not to run? Yes. The, the part of the problem was um, uh, the MPP were not w- w- very warm. Uh, what happened was actually yep. they they issued a press release, mm-hmm. the NPP, mm-hmm. um, giving out the places that their alliances could run. Mm-hmm. So and and they left out the PVP. <laughs> so so the, that's where the problem is. <laughs> so you see so, why. So, so you see why now we are saying <laughs> we we would go go it along. Mm. We we don't into this into this um, uh, field or into this um, for twenty twenty six. I think that's where people are getting it all wrong. It's not about twenty twenty six. It's about for the future. Mm-hmm. Whether it's 2026 or when is the next election after that, we would keep working and keep building our team again. Mm-hmm. As far as I'm concerned, that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling that I didn't come into this to this party for 2026. A lot of people, will, you know, Gambians will say, oh, he wants to run for president or whatever. That's not my intent. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people will run because of they want the benefits that come with it. I don't need those benefits. Mm-hmm. I'm very humble in what I have, what I've been blessed with. Mm-hmm. My intention is I want to see my kids and my kids' friends and my kids' other kids to be able to have the chances that we had growing up. Mm-hmm. For all Gambian, not just the selected few. So we are not, I'm worried about 2026. I want to make sure that we have a good leader that's going to lead us to the promised land. But it's not about 2026 for, for PPP, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not speaking for the executive mm-hmm. members. Mm-hmm. But when I came and talked to the executive members, I said, I want this party to be back up again. Whether it's 2026 or the next 30, 40, 50 years, we want to leave something here where our founding fathers that worked so hard on the very bad uh, system mm-hmm. to, for their names to not to be just thrown away. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's the intent. Uh, and will make it very challenging for NPP. If they think that PPP is just one of those pushovers, mm. they got something coming. <laughs> we are here to stay. So, I, 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 like I told uh, some of them, I didn't see the future in your this relationship, uh, your, in your this relationship with the NPP, uh, looking up, looking, look, looking beyond now towards 2026. You don't see. I didn't see any. Coalition, future, future, future in your alliance. The future has been already. In, there was there was no future. <laughs> <laughs> you, they told us not to run. For, you told me they said don't run in Banjo. Well, yeah, right. right? So well, they I, they actually leave you, <laughs> left you out. They did. The areas you you know oh, yeah. the alliance could run and we've been, where they could run. We've been slapped around. <laughs> so been, there's there's no more relationship anymore. Anyway. There's no relationship as far as I'm concerned. There's no relationship. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Baro wouldn't like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Baro is a good guy. He, you know, I like Baro. He's a, he's a, uh, you know, oh, yeah. he's, okay. he's, he's working very hard on the very tough. He has some, he has some interesting uh, advisors. Oh, okay. I think. Uh, I think generally he's a good guy. Yeah. I just think that they're giving him bad information. But, yes. You, oh, well, you already started talking, being critical of perhaps the people he took on yeah. board. Uh, the the to, party of old 
politics mm -hmm. is what is happening now. Mm -hmm. And he and he couldn't uh, uh, really uh, extricate himself out of that to, to be above his above all issues. That's why, in, if you run corporations, mm -hmm. what happens if the corporation is not functioning well or is losing money? Who they go after first? Ah, the CEO. The CEO of the company. He's the boss. You think the people behind will go to the next party. They are always, it's been like that since Jawara's time. Yes. They are invisible. They are always behind the scenes pulling strings. You will never see them. We know who they are. We grew up, we, Banyu is too small. I know. They so are they, always they, pop so up. They are still behind Baro? Yes. They pull pulling the strings behind? Pulling strings. Getting deals, getting all kinds and, of and, stuff. And when, and when, 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 when he collapsed, they stay away. They jump to the next party. That's what needs to stop, right? The next party that takes over needs to say, that's it. Your time of eating freebies is enough. It's for everybody, not for just the selected few that thinks that they're above everybody. Finally, I, I, I want us to talk to the neighborhood, mm -hmm. Senegal. Yeah. I, you know, there have been a new, a wind, a, a new wind of... Uh, Ching and mm -hmm. stump, people will call it a stump. And uh, we've been totally introduced to what what most politicians I brought here call a new ideology. Mm -hmm. uh, these past issues and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden we, we hear voices saying, wow, maybe this can be replicated in the Gambia. First of all, what's your perspective of the coming to power of the, of the, of the sudden and, the, you know, Surprise the, the movement, right? Yes, the movement. Uh, Senegal, even though we are related and first cousins, it's totally different the way they see things as we do here. Um, yeah, I, that would be a, that would be good, but I, I don't think governments are programmed that way to do what those folks. What do you think are the fundamental difference? So, well, first of all, I shouldn't give them all credit. Hmm. Senegal saw what we did when we move Yaya Jami out. They embark, they use that, they piggyback on that and improve it. That's how they got rid of uh, Makisau, mm. right? So first of all, I need to give the Gambian people credit for what they did with their coalition. And if Yaya Jami didn't know this was coming, mm -hmm. I think it was a shocker to him mm -hmm. that the Gambian people would come together and say, that's enough is enough. Mm -hmm. So I think the passive people mm -hmm. saw that. Yes. But I, at this stage right yes. now, I think uh -huh. we are is so broken up okay that it's going to take a few more years to come back again to the coalition that we are you were talking about yeah that's why i talk about the coalition and yeah. you you are saying that uh because the people it's not possible it, it's so broken up mm -hmm. uh, people everybody's like grabbing you know there's no at least in yeah james time he's the boss mm -hmm. he could get up one day and just arrest 50 people okay i'm not saying that's a good idea yeah you know, but here now, there's no accountability. Oh, I see. People are just doing, we hear stuff every day. Every day. And we talk about dollars, millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Not dollars. Mm -hmm. Millions of dollars. People are, people are, you know, nothing. No, no, no repercussion. Nobody's been held accountable. No repercussion, nothing. They they even brag about it. You see them driving around. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, time, you will not see that happen. Oh, even I mean, in Jawara's time, you, yeah. you will be fired. From from the ministry, yeah. you're gone. You he'll, he'll tell you to resign. Yeah, at right? least if if you are not put in prison, but at least you are sacked. You are sacked. You know that's what people fail to understand. In PPP, you know, when people do something, when, when things, there are a lot of rumors and or, or even, you're gone. Yeah, yeah. He would. I, I grew up in a family. Serif Diva resigned when his brother he got into trouble. Right, right? his brother. Yeah. It wasn't Serif. It wasn't Serif Diva. His right. brother. He, that, he, that, he, was, that was ethics at the time. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So people tend to give us a hard time. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, all this corruption, PPP, era. Yeah, you know, where in this world do you go that there's no corruption? In America that I'm coming from, mm -hmm. they try to impeach the president because of his son. Yes, that's true. Trump mm -hmm. is ah. going to court all over the place. <laughs> so it happens. Yeah. But there's, there's accountability. Yes, at least Here right now, I don't see it. You know, all you hear is you have uh, your minister of uh, information who just jump up and said, "Well, well no, you know, he, you just no, is this is the other thing." Yeah, you know. Uh, so and that's then, not and it. then it's gone. Show us something. Hold people accountable. We'll give you the respect.
right? Hold people accountable that it's clear cut that you guys saw it happened. Nothing. I have not seen anybody being called accountable yet. Nothing. And you think that that's quite different from Senegal, right? It's quite different. Right now, you, see, you watch and see all this corruption that's going on in Senegal. They will hold. They will be held accountable. It's new into the government, but as we go along, as they start finding out what's going on, all those people that were over there thinking that they will never. That's why people should never think that there will be there won't be a change. Mm. They'll be too comfortable. Yeah, as you say, oh, there won't be change yet. It's going to happen. That's it's, a human life. People, yeah. change. people, people die. People are shocked in, in, yeah. in Senegal. Yes. You know, so changes happen. Mm -hmm. You know, whoever told Yaya yeah, would, would leave. Oh, not, not in that hurry as, yeah. as in 2016. He, he told us that he's going to be here for a billion years. Yeah, yeah. Where is he now? Wow. So anybody, that's why I say lesson learned is very important in a human being. Always look and see what happened at the back. What, you know, say, and take take that into consideration and say, okay, I should not be, I should not fall into that trap. That's always saying to Bono that he should sit down and reflect and say, since 1965 till now, read. Look at the problems. You know, what happened? Start thinking for yourself. Stop listening to these guys beside you that were in the government previous before you. Mm -hmm. They were part of it. Now you have all these people running around just, you know, yelling and going on. <laughs> We've passed that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you think if I said it, we should learn from Senegal, what should that be? That the people were fed up. <laughs> we are fed up here. But two years is a long time, right? <laughs> so I shouldn't say that we are not ready. <laughs> um, the way things are going right now, <laughs> if he didn't step up <laughs> and make those changes, yeah. Um, we would have something, not as Senegal, mm -hmm. but it's going to be close to it where he's going to lose the presidency. Mm -hmm. Because people are, are there suffering. Absolutely. I'm coming from America and I feel the pinch. Mm. Let's talk <laughs> so, about those who've been here. So, if you ask, the average salary here is what? In Gambia. Wow, the government salary is... Uh... Yeah, so we talk about government, but if you average it out... Average out. Uh, maybe 5,000? Or ten, let's say ten thousand. No, ten thousand is, is, is way way above the average. Okay, what, let's take ten thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, Bag of rice is what? Three thousand two hundred. When I last bought. Okay. Apartment. A good apartment is what? Six thousand, right? Yeah. 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 So good one. right now, already how much? Well, <laughs> the ten thousand is gone. <laughs> and, uh, and cash for fish money didn't come. Fish money. If you want a good meal, a good protein meal with your family of five. Mm -hmm. You need to spend at least a thousand dollars a month. That's thirty thousand dollars. That is three times more than right. Oh, then you're, then you're what you make. Yeah. So why would you think that people wouldn't go out there and do whatever they can to make money? Yeah, that's just one of the aspect. Uh, you know, yeah. we talk about self-sufficiency. Why are we not putting money into agriculture? Mm -hmm. We uh, last time I checked, we are importing rice. Uh, so much power. Hundreds of millions of. Uh, yeah. words of dollars of, of imports and exporting virtually nothing. Mm -hmm. We know, you know, that's why our, our exchange rate is going up because when you import, the more you import, ah, the more you 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 your 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 currency depreciates. Yeah, depreciates. So just are, those are, I'm not an economist, but no, those, well, are like, simple, those are simple. Those are simple common sense. basic common sense of why we are struggling. Mm -hmm. So the president needs to rethink <laughs> the people around him. Exactly. Yeah. Well, four days in Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for being. We're still on air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for being on the brunch. Mm -hmm. Let me thank hear you. your parting words. Uh, you staying for a little bit more? Um, I'm going to be here for a few months. Okay. Um, uh, usually when I come down here, it's a um, uh, few weeks. <laughs> but uh, now that um, we are in back, I have other businesses here. Yeah. Um, I have a rice cultivation that I'm doing in Janjambure, okay. which next week, most probably, we might make a trip there. All right. Um, but I'm just telling everybody, all the Gambians, mm -hmm. that it's time to look outside of the basic parties that we have right now. Okay. And come back home. Mm -hmm. We have a plan. Uh, our executive members are working very hard behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. We've registered over 50 people since that article went out. Wow. So... The aspirants are ready. They just want to see us make a move. 
And I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank you, Lamin. Thank for you. Always been there. Yeah. Our first foundation donation. Yeah, yeah since, uh, you were there. Yeah, that's uh, right. You know, so we really appreciate you, what you are doing. Tremendous work. You've been you very mean. fair to all parties. Yeah. It's not just me or thank anybody, you. but uh, mm -hmm. hopefully that um, uh, things will make things happen. Thank you. Thank you. For a thank you very much for being on the brunch. Well, that's about it in the program this week. We will be back with more brunch next week. Until then, goodbye. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personnel who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissible pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906 Jamano Money Transfer Bureau de Chance Your go-to option when it comes to money transfer With Jamano, you can send money from anywhere in the world to your family and loved ones in the Gambia and be sure the funds will be delivered to them within the shortest time possible for your convenience, funds sent through Jamano Money Transfer can be picked from all the banks and multiple other financial institutions, including Ajib Bank, Trust Bank, GT Bank, Mega Bank, Basic Bank, Reliance Financial Services, and Approved Services. Visit our head office at Bruce B. Opposite AfricMed, next to Trust Bank Limited, or email us at info at jamanomt.com. You can as well call us on 310-3050 or 310-3051 or yet still 733-0688. Our opening hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday and 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. Jamano Money Transfer, your most trusted money transfer service where customer satisfaction is paramount. When you think of a simple, fast, and reliable money transfer, think Jamano Money Transfer.
Agar ada. Kembali jangan lagi nanti. Alba. Alba kan kordan. Yo ngah transfer lah tu. Ya transfer lah tu. Ha, kod ni je. Okay. Bosan. Insila edi sorang. Ha, sah sorang. Sorry. Agar ada. Kembali jangan bro. Alba. Alba kan. Barah Allah sah di sorang teriak. Ha, barah. Mau ke jangan nunggu nunggu barah teriak. Ha, jangan nunggu mana. Forest de Biro. Gambia tongkon na lombaria bere. Ha. Berin ko yun na for kato. Parin si Kodo Kino, kato ni Fobolong Blabe. 56 branches mo na sa da Gambia dyan. Ha? Ha. Gambia kono, anin Gambia yung bantala bangkol. Nga Kodo Kia bere. Kodo Sifa, Sifa, Fofa Lindiro, Fonyadi, Lafta, Memmen na Kodi Topoto ni Kodi Marao. Dyan na number one din yun dyan. Andun fana nata anoda enterprise is sotale. Wolam. Wolam yun di ko, domorol fana ngkol fana be firale de dadi maan yun domorol di fana beteat. Ha. Gambia daw da yalo nga kumfa kendol sotale di. Ha. E wamo e odiat. Ha. Apelen da. Nyo waka nyela lafta nyela nkendol ebinaji. Yalo e buka nyela kuwola. Ha. 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 Ha